This year I returned to an old hobby and it quickly sparked into a passion. I decided to take you on the journey of a dress from the sketch to the finished piece. This isn't a detailed how-to tutorial, more so tiny glimpses of my process. And the small moments in between beauty and monotony. If you've been following my channel for a while, or if you're new, thank you for stopping by, but then you'll know that I've only mostly shared bits of my herbalism practice, but I'm also an amateur seamstress, so cheers to that. I wanted to give you an intimate glance into the process of making a dress, but also some reasons why I sometimes make my own clothes. For one, the idea of turning a sketch or an image in your head into a tangible, real dress that you can run around and twirl in is one of the most satisfying processes, I believe. A process that takes days or weeks that run together. And comes together slowly but surely through slow, monotonous repetition. Admittedly, the next reason is that this sort of repetitive sewing turns into a meditation after a while. Seeing and experiencing the process bit by bit helps me to connect to the piece more when I'm wearing it. I think it's important to share what really goes on behind designing a dress and, and making it. It is beautiful and fun, but there's a lot of diligence and slow work that's involved. When I was in college, there was no time to slow down and enjoy the process of sewing, and if I'm being perfectly honest, I didn't enjoy it and I didn't appreciate it like I do now. Back then, I had never heard of slow fashion, and I was impatient to get my work done. It's understandable. We're expected to move at such a fast pace through life, but Lately, within the past few years, I've asked myself why? Why can't I slow down and enjoy the process? I think it's the constant question being asked, what's next in your life, or what do you do for a living? Lately, instead of being swallowed up by the unknown future or, or what ifs, I've really tried to slow down and just enjoy each day as it comes. Part of this peace of mind comes through small, repetitive actions. It's here, in these small, mundane actions, that I find happiness and a quiet strength of heart. When I finally enter into that beautiful, flowing state of creation, I find that I'm no longer concerned with the expectations of other people. Though, I do wish sometimes that they could see the beauty that I see in the present moment. I've put the shoulders together. I've sewn 
at the side seam attached to the waist tie. We'll do something like this. Fixing the neckline, adding a pocket, and then deciding what I want to do for the back. Is here in this whimsical rhythm of creation that I find peace and purpose. Thank you. 